Welcome to the second introductory tutorial about EFS Survey. Here we'll learn the general steps of setting up an online survey. Before you start setting up your online survey within the software, you have to consider a few things. First and foremost, define the objective and the target group of your survey, so you know whom to ask what. That determines your project type, personalized or anonymous survey, Besides, you should think about the structure and design of your questionnaire. Afterwards, you start working on your project within the EFS survey. Generally, there are seven steps of setting up a project. Step one, create the project. Step two, enter the questions. Step three, activate the project. Step four, test the questionnaire. Step five, invite the survey participants. Step six, control the progress of your survey and step 7, analyze and export the survey data. First, you create a new project indicating the project type, the title and the author of the survey. In terms of the project type, you could choose between an anonymous and a personalized survey. In case you know all the names and email addresses of your survey participants, set up a personalized survey so each survey participant gets his own personal invitation to the survey via email. Otherwise, you select an anonymous survey, generating one public link to the survey for each participant. In step 2, create your online questionnaire within the questionnaire editor. There you can choose among 35 different question types, like the single and multiple response, metrics and ranking questions, sliders, image selection, flash question types and special question types for self-programming. Also, you can insert pictures, audio and movie files into the questions to make the survey more entertaining for participants. The next step is activating your project. That includes compiling the database table, adjusting the runtime of the project and activating the survey. In step 4, you test your questionnaire in terms of the functionality of individual settings and the design of the questionnaire. To do so, there are several automatic and manual test features at your disposal. One important automatic test feature is the project test. That enables you to test the settings of filters and internal quotas by automatically simulating a large number of test interviews. Other automatic test features are the consistency and the filter check and the debug mode. Basically, they test the consistency of filters, hiding conditions, triggers and plausibility checks. A very favorite manual test feature is a pretester tool. That allows you to realize pretests so chosen testers can comment on your questionnaire by means of common fields on every single page. The pretester tool captures systematically the testers' comments and enables you to assign a processing status to the comments. When you have finished testing your online questionnaire, you can invite your participants in step 5. The way of inviting your participants depends on the project type. If you have set up an anonymous project, you can either implement a pop-up window on a website containing the link to the survey, integrate the link directly on a website, or as shown on this slide, publish the link in the newsletter. By contrast, if you have set up a personalized project, you basically invite your participants by a personal email containing an individual link to the survey. In case of a personalized survey, you can import a participant data file into the participant administration of EFS survey. This way you can invite and remind them by a self-made email template directly out of the software. In step 6, you monitor the progress of your project by means of controlling features like the field report, the online statistics or the online report. The field report provides numeric and graphical information about the progress statistics including the number of started, suspended and completed interviews and the break-off rate. The online statistics, however, comprehends the frequency distribution of given answers at any time of the survey. The submenu Open-ended Answers lists all answers to open-ended questions. The last step focuses on analyzing and exporting the data. The reporting module enables you to create complete reports with evaluation tables and charts directly in the EFS survey. Otherwise, you can export the data easily to analyze the data with another software like Excel or SPSS.
That concludes our introductory tutorial about the seven steps of setting up a project with EFS Survey. If you want to get more information about one of the next steps, please check out one of the other tutorials. Thank you for listening.